to study the effect of heat on copper sulfate crystals. Aim to study the effect of heat on crystals of copper sulfate and classify it as a physical or chemical change. Apparatus Chemicals and Materials Principles or Theory Note Principles or Theory Precautions Procedure Take some powdered copper sulfate crystals in a watch glass labeled 1 and observe its color and shape. Observation Copper sulfate is a blue colored solid having a definite shape and a smooth surface. Inferences Copper sulfate pentahydrate is a blue colored crystalline compound. Procedure Take some crushed ice in a beaker and place a clean, dry, hard glass test tube labeled B inside the beaker. Take a spoonful of powdered blue colored crystals of copper sulfate in a clean, dry, hard glass test tube labeled A. Pass a bent delivery tube through a one-hole rubber stopper and fit it in the mouth of the test tube A. Fix the test tube in the clamp of an iron stand. Insert the free end of the delivery tube into the test tube B. Heat the end of test tube A such that the copper sulfate crystals get heated. Stop heating when all the blue crystals in test tube A crumble to an amorphous white powder. Observation When heated, copper sulfate pentahydrate loses its blue color to form a white powder. Inferences Heat decomposes crystalline copper sulfate pentahydrate to an amorphous white powder called copper sulfate anhydrous. Procedure Unclamp the test tube A when it cools to room temperature. Take its contents in a watch glass labeled 2 and observe it. Observation Copper sulfate anhydrous is a white powdery substance. Inferences Copper sulfate anhydrous is not a crystalline substance. Procedure Take a small quantity of the substance from the watch glass tube in a clean, dry test tube labeled C. Add about 1 milliliter of distilled water to it. Hold the outer surface of the test tube's bottom to feel its temperature. Observation When distilled water is added to anhydrous copper sulfate, a blue colored solution is obtained. Inferences Copper sulfate anhydrous dissolves in water to form a blue solution of hydrated copper sulfate. The bottom of the test tube feels warm. This reaction is exothermic. Procedure Take the white powdery substance remaining in the watch glass tube 
in a clean, dry, hard glass test tube labeled D. Fit the delivery tube at its mouth. Insert its free end in about 3 milliliters of distilled water taken in a test tube labeled E. Place the test tube E in a beaker containing crushed ice. Then, heat the white powder in test tube D. Stop heating when the white powder in test tube D changes to a black colored substance. When test tube D cools to room temperature, take its contents in a watch glass labeled 3 and observe. Observation The substance is hard and black in color. Inferences Heat decomposed anhydrous copper sulfate to form copper oxide. Procedure Take a small quantity of the black substance from watch glass 3 in a watch glass labeled 4 and add a drop of dilute sulfuric acid. Observation A blue colored solution was obtained when dilute sulfuric acid was added to copper oxide. Inferences Copper oxide reacts with dilute sulfuric acid to form a blue colored solution of copper sulfate. Conclusions or Results